What's going on team? Here we are, about to make the trek back up to Longview Hut, back to the old faithful up the top there, was a mint hunting spot, so back again. It's uh, just gone, let me check, 20 to five, and it is sweltering, 30 something degrees the truck reckon, so she's gonna be a hot walk up, but it should be good. And as we suspected, with the outrageous heat today and the weather meant to be turning to shit tomorrow afternoon no one else would be out here and hey presto the weather's shit well weather's challenging so no one's out here so hopefully should have the hill to ourselves to hunt for the next few days but anyway the climb commences bringing the Tevas out on this one their first proper mission been wearing them around the office and just around home in general so the terrain's not that hectic that I think I need a full boot so rock on the old Tevas see how they go running through the last of my thoughts standing on the edge of my chest Team. Just made it to Longview Hut. It wasn't a bad walk actually. It was hot, so hot. I'll show you. That you can see the sweat starting to soak into the shoes. So she's definitely hot today. It wasn't a bad walk. It was a good walk, but I've been putting in the mileage more so recently. So a lot easier than last time, which was nice. It's a pretty nice walk, but yeah. So normally. Stop at the hut now. This is what we're doing. So we did last time. So this is what we're gonna do this time. Stop at the hut, top up the water, and then head and set up the old fly camp. There's just something about fly camping 
it's probably nostalgic of my military career but uh i just prefer fly camping over staying in a hut um so yeah i'm gonna top the water up and then head up the hill set up the fly camp it is 6 24 or 18 24 keeping it mill um or 24 hour time last light or sundown is at 20 38 or 8 38 so head up drop packs probably empty packs out just in case we get on to something tonight we can harvest the animal fill our packs with meat so get up top drop packs empty packs packs back on head out start glassing good to go Shot the stag over there. Shot the hind down in there. The boys are just down by that rock. Glassing down into the valley. I'm just thinking, potentially, might go for a nosy over here. See what's going on, but it's hard. There's so many spots here. You want to glass them all.
and see if I can back out. When picked up, this is just taking the shot. Typical. Got a bug fever. Took the shot in the wrong way. We don't think it's the stag. Good looking stag as well. Surprisingly good. Uh, went back to camp, we had dinner, had a good sleep. Relatively good sleep. Dark weather conditions compared to the infill, one might say. Commando jacket, it's earning its fucking keep today. It is fucking wet. Hi videos team, power of positive thinking. So, we knew the weather was going to be shit today, but we still stayed up top. Got a morning hunt in this morning. Seen a couple of deer, didn't come to fruition. Uh, they got back into the bush. Then we decided when the weather closed in that we would wait it out in the hut. And then this evening, once the clag and rain passes or a weather window closes, we'll head out for a solid evening hunt. The weather wasn't passing, the rain wasn't clearing. So we said, well, we'll bug out today, conduct the exfil on the way down. Hopefully the clag clears. It's not raining, and we'll still be able to get a hunt in down the bottom. As you can see, absolutely soaking wet. Good thing, running the Warfighter Standard Commando Jacket, we're good to go, we're happy. But, it's not negatives all around. No matter how it's worked out, one thing I learned from the unit was the pursuit of excellence, and what we called a cycle of continuous improvement. A cycle of continuous improvement pertains to training and equipment, constantly looking at our 
SOPs, TTPs, equipment, and obviously our mandated outputs from the government and how we best meet those. And are we being world-class with everything we're doing? Same thing now, take that same mindset, ethos, into Warfighter. And now it's been great, continuous cycle of improvement session for the commando range whilst I've been out here. Already coming down in the downpour, being out here in the gear, the mind is running with what's working really well and what I could tweak, change, improve on the jacket for the Gen 2 to make it that much better. So all in all, super positive outcome, no matter what happened. No deer, but great mission. We're out here doing it nonetheless. Onward. Also team, the Tevas don't like to be wet. The bloody soles are slosh sloshing around inside. Which means my toes are getting squished, but kind of sadistic. Now I'm enjoying the pain because it's about to end soon. Top tip for anyone in life, in your military career, whatever aspirations you have, if you want to do selection, there will be pain, and pain will end eventually. Top tip, onward. Back to the loyal steed. From jobs on to jobs complete. Now the road move home.